And David Bowie has impacted pop culture for more than 50 years, selling more than 140 million records worldwide. And now a new film described as the definitive account of the music legend is inviting audiences to immerse themselves in the unique world of Bowie. If you think you know David Bowie, think again. Moon Age Daydream is the first film to be supported by the Icons estate. Through personal archive footage, unseen performances and anchored by Bowie's own words, it's a kaleidoscopic journey on the big screen. Ever since I was 16, I was determined to have the greatest adventure that only one person could ever have. The man who made it possible is acclaimed filmmaker Brett Morgan. Bowie's estate presented him with more than five million assets from recordings and drawings to rare journals and films. Wait, and how about the shoes? Are those men's shoes or women's shoes or bisexual shoes? They're shoe shoes, silly. <laughs> it took Brett more than five years to complete Moon Age Daydream and now it's here, a unique opportunity to celebrate Bowie's legacy and enduring influence. And Brett Morgan joins me now from Melbourne. Morning to you, Brett. Welcome to Australia. This is just extraordinary. Not really a documentary. It's almost like being in, in Bowie's head, an immersive experience. How, how do you describe this? Well, it's a celebration of David's music and art. And really what I wanted to do was um, take all the material that I could find in the archive that would lend itself to a cinematic experience and put it out there so people can experience David like they never have, bright, loud, and vibrant. When you talk about all the material in the archive, we're talking about five million assets that were shared with you by the Bowie estate. It took you two years just to watch them. So how on earth do you then comb through all of that material to make just a single film? I was possibly the best day job that <laughs> anyone could ever have. So for two years i was being paid to go to work every day and stare at david bowie and listen to him uh for 12 hours a day and while most of us are uh well for me i'm a huge bowie fan um and was well familiar well versed in his music i was totally unaware of uh his philosophies and how um sort of life affirming his message would be for me so um, it was it was an amazing adventure. Do you think that's really what people can take away? Of course, there will be the die-hard Bowie fans that do go and see the film. But for those that aren't potentially, it is that philosophy. It's that don't waste a day mentality that I think is just this undercurrent of the film that's really powerful. Did that resonate with you? Yeah, it, it was. While I was making the film, I had a heart attack, and um, and uh, it was it was. Uh, it was intense, obviously, and, and as I was recovering, I'm listening to David, and it was almost like he was guiding me sort of back to recovery, and so the film ended up becoming this kind of what it is. It just sort of happened organically, and it is a life-affirming celebration of both David's art and the value of making the most, as you said, of every day. OK, so the test audience for this, Brett, was uh, Sean Penn, Bono, Eddie Vedder and The Edge. So just a little bit of pressure there. Um, <laughs> what did they think about the film? Yeah, that's no pressure. I, I, mean, I, I walked into the, uh, the first screening of the film and yeah, it was Eddie, Sean and um, and uh, The Edge and Bono. And uh, it was extraordinary because um, Obviously, uh, they're musicians, and Sean's a filmmaker, and one never knows how they'll react. But um, as soon as the movie started, I started to see some headbanging from the front of the room. And I turned to my wife, and I said, who is that? And she's like, I think it's Eddie. And I was like, oh, wow. And, uh, and then next thing, I'm like, someone else is moving. And she's like, who's that? I'm like. It's Bono! And it's like Bono, Eddie, and then Sean Penn jumps in, and they're all going like this, and the movie's only five minutes in, yeah. and there was a moment halfway into the movie 
where the song Heroes is performed. It's the first time anyone had ever seen this particular performance. And Bono turns to me as in the back of the room. He goes, are you kidding me? <laughs> and uh, it was... Uh, it, it, it was uh, it was extraordinary. So um, it's it's been an incredible journey. As we let you go, Brett, we've got some vision very quickly of you on the Cannes Film Festival red carpet, and I'm guessing this is are you uh -oh. kidding me? It's your moment when you're dancing down the red carpet because this really is such an incredible project. I know it's taken so much of your life, and it was a huge celebration and so well received as well. So we can tell why you're celebrating. Uh, thank you so much for sharing it with us, and thank you so much <laughs> for being with us this morning as well, uh, Brett Morgan, Moon. Age Daydream premieres this Friday at the Melbourne wow. International Film Festival before opening in cinemas nationwide on the 15th of September. And you can see Brett there in front of an IMAX because it's designed to be seen on oh. the big, big screen. It's really quite so cool. You'll love it.